Hello, my name is Thomas Whitfield. I'm from McGrath Akron, Chicago. And I wanted to go over all of the features in the 2017 TLX. Starting with the entry of the, getting into the vehicle. You, have, you get two key fobs for driver one and driver two. When you walk up to the car, you touch the door handle, the doors will unlock. There's also a button outside that you'll push and that will lock the doors up. To start the vehicle, you simply push your foot on the brake and then that will then start the vehicle for you. This particular vehicle that we're in is, is what we call a uh, technology package. The technology package gives you the navigation system, uh, real-time traffic, also leather uh, covered seats um, are part of the technology package, uh, along with uh, some additional uh, driver safety features, which I'll cover in a moment. But let's just start with some basic um, things of the vehicle. Your navigation system is going to give you real-time traffic. Uh, you're also going to have uh, real-time traffic on the main roads. Um, down in Chicago will be Elston and Division, um, the, some of the major roads, along with the highway. To operate your navigation system, very simple. They've added some buttons right below um, uh, the large knob which you're gonna have your navigation, your phone, your info, and your audio. You just push your navigation button and then go to menu, and that will then allow you to then put an address into your system to where you wanna go. Also, it will allow you to find places, place categories, so you wanna find places to, that you're looking for in the area, like restaurants, uh, parking, lodging, you're looking for an ATM machine, or you're looking for a gas station. You can find that all through your, te your technology model um, with your navigation system. The other features that you're also going to have um, with the tech, and you also have in the other models, is going to be your rear camera, and your rear camera will show you whatever is right behind the vehicle, um, along with changing your views of different viewpoints. You have a top-down, wide-angle, and a more of a narrow view uh, of the vehicle. The second is going to be your phone. Um, to, to install a new phone, you're going to go to the phone settings, and you're just going to scroll over to yes. And once you have your phone set up to um, the uh, settings, it will then link and turn on your Bluetooth, excuse me, turn on the Bluetooth. Uh, you're just gonna go through your settings here and then your car will then start to search for the Nets Bluetooth phone uh, or your Bluetooth phone so that you can then subscribe, uh, link it together. And it's a very quick, quick way of getting the phone um, set up. It should take you less than two, three minutes to get your phone paired up to the vehicle. The next, the next little um, icon down here is your information. Your information is your trip computer, uh, accidents. If there's any accidents on the, in the direction that you're going, it will also let you know about that. And then you have your audio system. Now, when you get the uh, Navi system or technology model, you are going to get an upgraded audio system, which the audio system is going to give you uh, some additional speakers, uh, a little bit more on the subwoofer end, getting a little more bass and trouble out of the vehicle. It's called the ELS system, which is just one of the best in the industry. It's an awesome sounding uh, sound system in the vehicle. Now, any of these controls that we went over, the Navi, the phone, the info, and the um, audio, can be, you can go into a little bit deeper into those areas by pushing the menu button. The menu button will allow you 
to then select if you're looking for um, to adjust the sound, your bass, the treble. Um, it will allow you to get into a little bit more deeper uh, aspect of your audio system. The same with your navigation. By pushing the menu button, you can get in and then put your address in, uh, go home. If you put your home address in, you can also do that from your controls. Now, the other part that I really like about this car is how it can customize the vehicle to your likings. By just hitting the settings button, it will allow you to customize your Navi settings, your camera, your vehicle, um, and then just whatever your system is. For examples, uh, vehicle settings. Vehicle settings will allow you, with the safety features that are on this vehicle, to operate and turn on and off uh, or have uh, an audio sound or just, uh, just an audio sound um, or just a visual sound or visual, excuse me, uh, on the vehicle. It allows you to customize that for you. Now you can customize this for driver one and driver two. So you don't have to share the same safety uh, features along with the, what's your personal settings. Personal settings, how do you want the doors to unlock? How do you want the doors to lock? How long do you want your headlights to stay on? All those things are gonna be separate from driver one to driver two, and it allows that person to have those custom settings um, in, your, in your vehicle, excuse me. So that's all gonna be in your settings area of the vehicle. Now we're gonna go up just a little bit more to the climate control. Climate control, you have your on and off, your auto, when it's the little green lights on, it's fully automatic. It will adjust to whatever the temperature uh, that you set. If it's cold or hot, it will turn on and off the air condition as needed and the heat. You can also, uh, you have your front defroster, you also have heated outside mirrors on, this ve on these vehicles too. Uh, you have heated seats, which are standard um, on all of our vehicles, and you can adjust the temperature of your heated seats uh, all from your display up top. Now, you're looking at your audio screen. Your audio screen would be your audio source, and this will be, what do you want, what do you want to listen to? What, what is your source? AM, FM, you have also satellite radio uh, in the vehicle. You have uh, I, uh, iPod. Um, I normally use my iPod uh, or my, my phone and I'll listen to music or YouTube videos all from my phone by using the iPod button. I also have uh, Pandora, and if you're a Pandora listener, you just hit your Pandora, and then that will then pull up all your Pandora um, um, songs that you like that you can listen to throughout the vehicle. That's kind of a little bit of an overview of the audio and getting into your different screens. But just remember, just go into audio source and it will then take you through. You can also customize your, your screen to whatever you like. You have a hard drive audio where you can, you can take your CDs, slide them in, and you can download up to 300 songs into your audio system, which will all uh, set themselves up on your screen and you can select whatever song or you can voice tag whatever song you wanna, you, you wanna listen to um, there. Hazard lights um, are gonna be there. And then again, your rear camera. Now on your steering wheel, steering wheel is gonna have your, uh, um, over on the right hand side, your volume control up and down. You're also gonna have your Bluetooth to make and receive the phone call and source, you're going from AM, FM, uh, satellite radio, CD, whatever form that you wanna go through. It'll also, with your volume up and down, will also allow you to track, to go to the next song, by just by pushing left to right, it will take you up or down in terms of your CD. On the right hand side is gonna be your cruise control, which you're gonna turn on your cruise control, uh, and then you're gonna have set, resume, cancel there, trip computers, which will show you how many miles you run out of gas, your average gas mileage, uh, trip A, trip B, are all gonna be located in this area here. Now, this button here is gonna be your lane keep assist. 
first what you do is turn on your cruise control then you put on your lane keep assist then there'll be some digital some um, some lines and when they light up that means that the system is direct is going to help you steer it within the lanes now you got to remember the car has to pick up the lines on the on the road before the system will be activated and what you're going to notice is there's going to be a little movement within the within the steering wheel they want you to keep your hands on the wheel but the car will keep you within the lines uh, of the vehicle as you're driving okay some of the other little features you have paddle shifters Paddle shifters will allow you to shift the car like a manual transmission. You'll put the car into a sport mode and then you can shift, upshift or downshift uh, on the vehicle. You have your wiper controls on the side, your automatic headlights, which you have LED headlights, which are uh, just much, much brighter. They're better on the oncoming traffic eyes and they last a lot longer. Than your, in your traditional HID headlights. Now, some of the other little features that are here. You have your night and day mirror. You have your sunroof control, your interior lights, garage door opener, and this car is equipped, because it has navigation or technology, it also has AcroLink. AcroLink would, will work in conjunction with your smartphone where you can see how much gas is in the vehicle, you can see how many miles to your net service, you can also get emergency help, you can send addresses from your phone to your car which will download itself into your navigation system for you. It is an additional monthly charge but Acra does give it to you for the next three months, uh, I'm sorry, 90 days for free. Now, some of the other little features is also you have some sunglass holder here. Now, just some of the other things that are over on the driver's side. Like I said, you do have the, mem the memory seats, driver one and driver two. You also have your mirror controls over here. You have the door locks, child safety locks for the rear windows and your window controls. Now, all the way over underneath the vent on the left-hand side, you are gonna have your trunk release, your fuel door release, your, uh, your traction control, and also um, your uh, lane, keep, um, uh, lane keep assist, which will, keep, will remind you if you start to drift over into another lane, uh, and it will get a little vibration within, within the wheel. The other things, your gear shifters, you also have your, uh, your emergency brake, which is built into your, your gear, where your gear shifter is at versus over on the left-hand side. And then you have a feature, which is really cool to me, called brake hold. Brake hold, if you come up to a stoplight, you can have the brake hold on, and basically you could take your foot off the brake, and the car will sit there until you push on the accelerator to then accelerate forward. That's also going to be part of the standard package in the TLS. The other is that you do have blind spot alert and a little indication here on the, on the A pillar and also over on the passenger side where someone comes up behind you on the left hand side or the right hand side uh, vehicle um, will come up. It will light up to let you know that um, someone is in that area. If you turn your turn signal on, that will blink and chime at you to tell you don't go. Uh, the whole idea is so that you won't merge over into the other traffic. Sunroof con sunroofs are standard in all of our Acura TLs. You also have all of your ports down in the center console. You have your USB. You also have your audio jack and you have a power source uh, inside your center console so that you can uh, play your music um, and also charge up phones and things like that that might be needed. Center console opens up. You also have another audio jack in here, another power source. Gives you plenty of room to store things inside here. You have your glove box button here that opens up your glove box to store your books up top and store 
uh, gloves and miscellaneous stains that you need underneath. This car is equipped with awesome safety features like the dual, your uh, dual stage, stage airbags, side curtain airbags. Those things are all standard in an Acura TL, uh, regardless of the trim level that you're looking at. Thank you for watching the overview of a 2017 TL Lots technology model. Try that as